Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. I wanted to come out and enjoy the park for a little bit, ride some rides and see if anything new is going on. And then later on, we're gonna hop over to Disney's Wilderness Lodge, meet up with some friends and have dinner at Whispering Canyon Cafe. Anywho's, let's go do this. This is my first time being back in a Disney World park since my trip over to California. And like I said, I loved Disneyland, but there's nothing like looking down Main Street USA and seeing Cinderella Castle. Isn't she just so beautiful? I've been back from California a couple days now, but I really haven't been out and about. I kind of just hung out at home with my dog because I missed her so much, but wow, the weather changed so much. You know what I mean? Coming from Disneyland where it was like such beautiful weather and temperatures, it was a little dry, but it was so amazing over there, to coming back and it's 96 degrees out today and it is so humid. So I think we're gonna get ourselves a nice cold drink to start off the day. Let's swing into the Main Street Confectionery and grab ourselves an icy beverage. They have such a great variety of flavors in here and a couple of combinations. I feel like a lot of people have the same idea because the Glacier Kitchen line is long. People are coming in trying to get a nice ice cold beverage to cool themselves down. Take a look at some of the flavors they have here. They have some signature ones, the Kaleidoscope the orange bird, and the uh, cold coction. Those are $5.99 and they come fancy. Like the cold lidoscope is uh, Powerade, blue raspberry, Fanta orange, Skittles, and gummies. So I think I'm gonna get that one. Also, while you're getting a nice cold beverage, you can watch them make cotton candy. It's kind of cool. That's what, it smells so good in here. Now they did warn me that it is a little hot outside, so it's not gonna look exactly like the picture is because it's gonna melt very quickly. And I said it's okay because it's still gonna be cool and refreshing. But here it is. It looks really good though. And they said because it is like hot outside, it's not gonna like layer and it kind of just blended together, but it still tastes the same, so. I'm happy with it. A little gummy worms. I don't see the Skittles though. No Skittles there. We're gonna give it a go here though. Oh yeah. That is exactly what I needed. Very refreshing. Holy moly. Don't wanna drink it too fast though. Get a brain freeze. And I feel like I do that to myself all the time. Look, I'm going in for a third sip. Oh, oh man. Really cools you down though. That really does not last long. Once you take it outside, it's basically just at the mercy of the sun. I like it though. It's not as good as a frozen mint julep though. I feel like that's my always go-to, but I always like to try new things. You never know. Now that we got ourselves a nice ice cold beverage, I think we should look at some of the wait times and see if we can ride some rides. It doesn't look that busy here today. It actually looks really, really calm. So I'm excited to see what the wait times are like. I really can't show you guys the wait times on my phone because you can't see it, but like I said before, it looks very quiet here. Not busy at all, and from the wait times, it is. Seven Doors Mine Train is only a 55 minute wait. Uh, Jungle Cruise is 45 minutes. Space Mountain, 40 minutes. Haunted Mansion, 40 minutes. Like these are really amazing wait times, and there's nobody here. Look at it, it's never this empty in the hub area. Winnie the Pooh is only a 20 minute wait, so I think it'd be fun to start there. I love going on adventures with Winnie the Pooh, and it's actually one of the rides I wasn't able to ride over in Disneyland. I kind of stayed away from things that I can do here in Disney World, even though the ride over there is a little bit different, so I do wish I got the chance to ride it, but I'm going back. I'm a magic key holder now. Oh yeah, this isn't bad at all. This is the queue right here, so we're gonna get through this in no time. Also, I'm super happy to have my cow puncher badge back. Look at that, hopefully we won't lose this one. The other one went down the shaft at the Tower of Terror. I'm actually so excited for Whispering Canyon Cafe tonight. Like, that's gonna be so good. We're gonna be meeting up with some friends. Uh, it's my uh, friend Chris's birthday. So we're gonna be celebrating at the Wilderness Lodge a little bit, and it is so good. They have these nice little skillets, and it's all you care to enjoy. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a delicious meal. It says, please knock. 
Oh. If you're a heffalump, well, please go away. Please go away if you're a heffalump. Here comes our honey pot. I think that's one of the reasons why I love this ride. It's because the, the vehicle is an actual honey pot. I also think I love this ride because Winnie the Pooh is my mom's favorite character. And it's just fun, you know? One day, a hundred acre wood, the east wind traded places with My favorite part. <laughs> Little bouncy bounce. doesn't love riding Winnie the Pooh. It's such a fun ride and now we're gonna move along and I'm happy that I did that ride because you're basically out of the sun. Like everything is kind of shaded and it's really nice. It's not indoors either but it's uh, not a bad line to wait in on a hot day. Looks like Seven Doors Mine Train went up a little bit since we last looked. It was 55 minutes and now it says 70 minutes. 70 minutes! Waiting 70 minutes in line for Seven Doors Mine Train is not easy because that is mostly outdoors and there's not too much shade in there. So it can get a little hot, but they do have a lot of fans at least. And you're kind of just all like smushed in there. But like I said, the fans actually help out a lot, but you can just look at it and see. Yeah, that's hot. Oh, someone's got an umbrella. That's a really good trick right there. The umbrellas actually keep you nice and cool and keeps the sun after you. I mean, I would carry an umbrella all the time, except for I always lose them. Like, I, I, if I bring an umbrella in the park, I'm not leaving with it. Now I want to make my way down to Storybook Circus. I want to see if Tron is coming along anymore. You can get a good view from the back by Barnstormer. In fact, maybe we'll ride the Barnstormer or Dumbo. And also, I think there's some characters down here. This is my first time being back in Magic Kingdom since characters are actually back hugging and meeting and greeting. So maybe there might be some characters as well. Big Top Souvenirs, the world's most amazing gifts, exciting toys, amusing mementos, the world's tastiest treats. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be like in a carnival or a circus. That's why anytime I volunteer at Give Kids the World, I usually go to do like the games and the rides and stuff like that so I can sit out front and be like, step right up, step right up. I always do it and I love it. It's my way of like fulfilling my childhood dream. And look at that, Dumbo's only a five minute wait. We're gonna do Dumbo. I mean, five minute wait, that's pretty amazing. And I love this ride. Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Fun fact, Dumbo is the only ride you can find in every single Disney park. It's in every Disney park. It's the only one, too. This way to Dumbo. I love walking through here. This is another amazing queue because technically you can play around like in the circus area. Well, kids can. I wish I could, but they do have seats in there. But you can play around and wait until it's your turn to ride. 
right now it's a five minute wait, so there is no time. So, how you doing? Thanks, we're just gonna go fly. Oh, I wanna go on this side. Can I go on this side? Oh, wow. Choice of sides, I feel fancy. Oh, and the water is on, it smells amazing. I can't wait to ride right now. It's so beautiful out. Like, I just associate Dumbo with Disney. Like, it's just one of those iconic rides. Like I said, it's the only one you'll find in every single Disney park. All right, we got to pick a flying elephant. I think we're going to go with the red one. Yeah, right here. I love the fact that the water is on. The last couple times I rode it, the water wasn't on. And I think it adds to it, you know? All of the Dumbos are actually numbered. So this red one that we're in is lucky number 22. 22, we're going all the way up. We're going up. We're flying. I wanted to come on this side because I can see the barnstormer. <laughs> Look at this. I love it so much. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you can't not laugh and smile while riding Dumbo. It's impossible. It just brings out the happiness inside you. I like to go all the way up and then I like to go down a little bit. So we're gonna go down. We're going down. There we go. All the way down to the water. Yep, yep, a little bit more, uh-huh, excellent. Now let's go back up, back up. Come on, there we go. Fly, Dumbo, fly. We're coming in for a landing. Oh, 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 easy, easy, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> As I was riding Dumbo there, it seemed to be the barnstormer wasn't running like it, it, it wasn't going so it might be down at the moment so we're gonna linger around a little bit over here maybe down by casey jr they have a little splash pad over there it's not too smart to come in there with the camera but i'm pretty sure i can navigate where we don't get soaked just gotta tread carefully here i don't think i have to worry about those camels they look like they're pointing that way giraffes up 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 <laughs> Got a little caught off guard there, but it's okay, not too bad. The camels, though, they can be mischievous. Mischievous. <laughs> Same thing with this elephant. Oh, just step to the side a little bit. At least his trunk doesn't move, so he can't get you as long as you uh, stay on the uh, opposite side of him. I'm going to try to go under him, though. Just try to look in here. Maybe grab a handful of peanuts. Uh oh. I'm stuck now. Oh, I'm going for it. Boop. <laughs> a little fun fact about the Casey Jr. splash pad. Before I was on Dumbo and I was talking about how my Dumbo's number was number 22. Sometimes Disney just assigns numbers and it's random, but down here there's actually a special reason for the numbering on the train for Casey Jr. As you can see, the elephant part is 1971. That is opening day of Magic Kingdom. And then over here with the monkeys is 1982. That is for Epcot. The giraffes are 1989 for MGM Studios. And then the camels are 1998 on the other side for Animal Kingdom. Is that nifty? Well, it doesn't look like the barnstormer is going to open up anytime soon. And I wanted to go up in the queue so I can look over and see Tron. And uh, we're not going to be able to do that. So I think I'll walk up this way a little bit and just see if I can see anything at all. It's really crazy how long we've been waiting for Tron to come to Wishin. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's been such a long, long time. I think it's been like five, six years. And this is like, this is almost complete. Like the buildings there, you can't really see it here. If I was up there, I'd see a little bit better. And I'm more excited for the train to come back. That's all we need. We need the train, but there's no tracks. Where's the tracks? Where's the train tracks? It was so awesome to be in Disneyland and having the ability to ride a Disney train again. But this one is waiting on Tron and hopefully soon. It's so crazy. I really, really miss the train probably the most. The Walt Disney World Railroad Fantasyland Station right here at Carrollwood Park. And this is where the train tracks end, is right there. So from here over, nothing. And it's going to go underneath that building right there. It's going to go under, like, so, like, when you go on the ride for Tron, you have to go up over the train tracks. So it's going to be interesting. We have to get moving along. I really am hungry, and I would love to actually grab something to eat. But I'm kind of holding off until we get to Whispering Canyon Cafe because 
that is so much food and it's so good and I feel better if I didn't eat all day and then went there so that's the plan but uh, we're gonna move out of fantasy land and cut through tomorrow land and make our way back down Main Street USA and if there's a short wait on the way maybe we'll ride another ride you know it is so strange when we first got to the park today like all the wait times were pretty low like i was shocked when i seen seven doors mine train was only a 55 minute wait and now it just seems like it got so much busier and i do know that magic kingdom is the park that everyone comes to at night because they have fireworks you know what i mean they have a nighttime show so everyone likes to hop here either here or epcot and uh yeah it got super busy astro orbiters had a 45 minute wait right now Space Ranger Spin actually looks like it's not a long wait. It says 35 minutes, but it does not look like 35 minutes. So I think we might uh, try to go become a galactic hero. Yeah, just take a look at that. The queue seems pretty empty there. There's not a lot in there. We can always rely on some good Buzz Lightyear. And I like how they have the flashing lights in here. Really uh, makes you like feel a sense of urgency. Because, you know, you're, you're going to fight against uh, Zerg there. And I'm so excited for Lightyear to come out. I love Chris Evans, and I think he's the perfect voice for Buzz Lightyear. Seems like a lot of uh, Buzz Lightyear carts are actually closed. Look at that. One, two, three, four. I wonder what's going on there. Some technical difficulties. Maybe a time for an upload. An upload? Maybe it's time for an upload. <laughs> I meant to say update. Maybe it's time for an upload. All right, I think we are securely locked and loaded. We're doing pretty good. We're in the second room already. Look at that. Try to hit that volcano a little more here. Look at that crab up there. I never noticed that before. Uh oh. We're going in. We're going into Zerg's lair here. Zergo vision. We're so close. I don't think we're going to make it though. 887. Look at how close we are. Oh no, it's our last chance here. I failed you, Buzz. I'm so sorry, Buzz. I failed you. I tried my best. I guess today was just not a Galactic Hero kind of day. I was only like five or 50,000 away. I was so, so close. But my thumb, it started to hurt, so I gave win. All right, now let's start making our way down to Main Street, USA. Looks like a show just ended there. But this is a beautiful spot to come and watch the fireworks. Look at that. Beautiful view right there. A little Tomorrowland and the castle. It's such a great life to be able to live next to Disney World, to hop into Magic Kingdom for a little bit before going out for dinner with friends at a Disney resort. It is so amazing. I'm so happy that I live here. And uh, now I think we're just gonna hop right on over to the Wilderness Lodge. Oh, but first, we might run home and let Gracie out so we can see her for a little bit before we actually get ready for dinner. I always run home and let Gracie out throughout the day because I live so close to like the parks and normally uh, like in the past I never really showed you guys that but I really love showing her off and you guys love to see Gracie so I figured anymore whenever I take those quick breaks from the parks uh, I figured I'd just bring you along just for a second or two just to say hi and so she can be on camera you know she's starting to be a little fancy oh but we got to stop here for a monorail appreciation shot look at her go Going off right on into the sunset. I love monorails. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, 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 oh what? <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Oh, you coming? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at you, happy girl. Look at this little precious angel. What are you doing? And I'm bald. Oh. What are you doing? Laying in the grass? Ooh, who's a pretty girl? Look at her. Living her best dog life. Yes, you are. Ooh, you woo. Look at that. <laughs> she likes it when I rub her chest up here. She loves it. Look at her. Oh, yes. And she got a little pink toenails. I see your little, your nails. Yes, I do. I see them. <laughs> yes, I do. 
now that we got the Happy Gracie Grail business taken care of, we are at the Wilderness Lodge. Time for some dinner and drinks with friends. I am so pumped for Whispering Canyon Cafe. Like I said, I haven't eaten all day just so I can like enjoy it even more. And uh, man, I love it here. It's also one of my favorite smelling resorts too. Look at that, as soon as you walk in, you get a good smell of all the wood. It's really, really cool. Look at it in here. Like I mentioned before, we're here celebrating a friend's birthday and we're gonna have dinner at Whispering Canyon Cafe. But beforehand, we're gonna get hang out maybe at uh, Territory Lounge or Geyser Point, grab a drink or two and just socialize a little bit. But I wanna show you Whispering Canyon Cafe first. Right here is Whispering Canyon, and I've eaten here before, and I've done videos here before, but this is my first time coming back where I think there's no more restrictions, so it's kind of going to be a really rowdy good time, because they really have a lot of fun in here, and it's all you care to enjoy. They do have breakfast, lunch, brunch, dinner, all of it, and I can't wait. Like, we've got stories, games, and even a song or two, so get ready to join in. Let's go meet up with some of our friends though. And there's gonna be a lot of us here tonight. So it's gonna be really cool. I'll put everyone's channels, uh, the links in the description so you guys can check them out. But it's gonna be a fun birthday party and I'm excited. Seems like I'm a little bit early and uh, nobody else is here yet. So I figured I'd come out here, sit by the water and maybe rock on a rocking chair for a little bit. Look at this scenery. Isn't it beautiful? This is the life. All right, it's time to make our way into the Territory Lounge now. Enough rocking around there. And I like it in here, it's like a cozy little spot. All right, I ran into my friends. Look at this, Chris Cheers. and Maria, cheers. We're celebrating a birthday here. Very good. Yeah, and we both got the, uh, what's this called? This is, oh. This I think it was called, timer. oh yeah, the first the timer. First timer. Not our first time, though. I'm going to be the second one. Like. <laughs> That's the way. Well, the second timer, the second timer yep. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Oh, boy. Oh, wow, that is so smooth. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like it. <laughs> Oh, we got our birthday cake. Oh. What's going on? Back we just saw you. We're back on our own land. <laughs> What's up, man? Bring it in. How's it going? I know. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's not my birthday. It's no, all you. <laughs> There's no space. There you go. Of Wait, we don't have a candle, but we should sing like a happy yeah, birthday, sure. you know? Worry you know? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> he said, no, 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 don't worry about it. You know what? We'll let this slide, but don't worry. There's a happy birthday coming. There's a happy birthday song coming. Okay. <laughs> happy honeymoon. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there you go. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Oh, no, you guys are awesome. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. The table that was next to us, they said they watched their video, they did watch my videos, and they were celebrating their honeymoon. So since they brought out a cupcake for Chris, they brought out another cupcake, and I went over and delivered to them, and I was like, happy honeymoon, or, you know, congratulations. It was really awesome, and I liked that. A little magic moment, so great job, Susan. Now it's time we're actually heading into the Whispering Canyon Cafe. The birthday festivities is gonna continue with some good food. And I'm excited, look at look at the group that we got going on here. Balloons and everything. Oh, and cake. <laughs> That's, uh, don't fly away. If you guys aren't aware, Whispering Canyon Cafe is a very wild time. So like, they're gonna be throwing like napkins at us. They're gonna be yelling. They're gonna be slamming things down on the table. Like that's a part of the dining experience. It's a really good show and good food. So it's kind of like uh, food and entertainment. And I love it here. It's so much fun. Howdy, hey. Who's having a birthday? It's this guy. <laughs> nice. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> They're most famously known for their all you care to enjoy signature skillets. It's $36 per person and it comes with a fresh baked cornbread and then you get to pick your skillet, the traditional, the pig, the land and sea, and the plant base. And they all have different offerings and it's all you care to enjoy. So I'm sure we're just gonna order every single skillet and try everything. I'm gonna move this. Oh yes. yes. Oh. That's the cornbread. That's uh -oh. what I'm here for. That's what, that is what I'm here for. Handsome slaw. Oh, we weren't ready for this. Oh, boy. We're going to need a bigger boat. What? That's the traditional? When you're here, your family. <laughs> we had to get eight of these. Wait, we got eight of these. That's the first round. Oh. Yeah, we're not gonna. No, we got, we got. We, so they're gonna bring in another one. No. No, they just make them. In yep. There you go. Land and sea. That is a lot. Traditional to make a big one to share. I don't know how many big do you have. I know this. You have two land and sea. Yeah. That's a lot. So that's three skillets, three skillets, two skillets, and then we can eat as much as we want. We get more if we want more. Ketchup? All right, the skillets are here. I'm suiting up. Time to put on my superhero outfit. There we go. <laughs> We're all communal here, so I'm gonna grab some Scoopsy potato. There we go. We're gonna get some Piggy wings right there. Some sausages. You gotta mix some corn with your potatoes. Oh yes. Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> yeah. A little a little rib. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of everything. Ashlyn, will you take a picture of Oh the pork right here, that's what we need. Excellent. What's going on here, Nate? I'm making my plate. We got a little bit of everything. Like it's all, it's like family style. So you just grab what you want. When a couple, here, some wings. Your family. When you're here, you're family. You are. You are. We're family. Yeah. Family. family. <laughs> Gonna start off with some good-looking ribs right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, much too good. What's that? The ribs are so delicious. But I am loving this brisket right here and the pulled pork. Oh, and the mashed potatoes are good too. Like, everything's amazing. Oh, and look at that big hat. She be coming around the mountain. Be coming around the mountain. Here she comes. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Can you pass the gray poupon? With the cornbread? <laughs> Wait, who lost their silverware? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. you <laughs> thank you. We needed this. <laughs> with our powers combined. May the fourth be with you. Oh, may the fourth be with you. I love it. Uh oh, wanted. Uh oh. The sheriff is going to jail. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're done for. Get the pitchforks. <laughs> what do we do with Put it in your purse. 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 <laughs> that is bigger. Wow, we're coming in with more food. Holy moly. Oh yeah. There it is. Looking like this. Perfect.
Dinner was amazing. So fun. I think that's probably the best restaurant to go for someone's birthday. They do so much and we didn't even focus on the food that much because there was so much happening around us. Everybody was having a good time. I love it there. It's well worth the $36 price tag. And now we decided to actually leave and head down to Geyser Point so that we can uh, cut up Chris's birthday cake and kind of hang out by the water and just chill for a little bit. It's such a beautiful resort and I love coming here. Like this is the resort I like to come for my birthday and it's nice that we get to all celebrate together like it's a it's a fun friend filled night happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Chris happy birthday to you Yourself birthday in the restaurant? Buddy. What? Yep. Earth. Earth. That's a good cake cut in there, promise. Oh, thank you. Look at that. I've cut a cake once or twice. Yeah, you've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to try some of this cake here. Oh, the good stuff. Oh, yeah, perfect. There we go, a little fork. That is good. Public's cake right there. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at this view though. This is the perfect spot to come down, enjoy some cake, and just hang out with some friends. It's so beautiful. And with that, I think we are done here. What did you guys think? It was a fun day today. We went to Magic Kingdom, enjoyed some rides, just really got back in the parks. Then we got to come over here and enjoy an amazing evening with some friends and celebrated Chris's birthday. I had so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.